Just waiting for armor to be worth a whole lot. Uh, I am buying this, right? No, no I'm not, I was selling. Well, it all worked out. Excellent, Louis getting a muffler. He's getting pretty swole with his, uh, his items here. And he's giving us the dosh. Treat them well, give them hell, says Debs. I prefer treat them mean, keep them keen. Two books, three days. Okay, girl, you're about to get one hell of a deal. I'm getting so gamed by the people here. They know to... No, that's a helmet. He wants a hat. They're buying low for me and selling pretty high. I even want that book. But it's still better to keep the transactions going, because then your combo goes, and your merchant level goes up, and... Again, clothes. Not a good time for this, friend. Lucky bugger. Jake, I got 14 hours into this game. Finished it twice. Shame it's fairly short, but loads of fun. If you want a fun merchant game that lasts considerably longer, play Kami Dori. Alchemy Meister. Heavy armor has decreased. Ugh. The boom for gaseous grasses is over. First annual radish wheel cart race held. Grated rad. Okay, whatever that means. Well, nobody bought anything out of the vending machine, but man, so many items are uh, super cheap right now. It's tempting just to go out and speak to the public anyway, just to pass the night. So I'll do exactly that. There's no pressure on us right now. So, Charm's a bit, well, charmed at the pub. Ah, it's Man. I wonder if his wallet is packed tonight as well. Something very tepid about these uh, conversations. Right, more and better items are up for sale. It would be a bit of a waste for me to come out and not buy up some. Especially when they're going super cheap. <laughs> like the sandwich plates. Man, actually a lot of this is very tempting. A full crusade helmet. Mm. And now I could buy up loads of silver armor and stock that in the vending machine, but... Alright, well, whatever is most expensive, I'm getting first. And I guess that would be the full armor. This bracelet looks pretty good as well. How can I resist the pirate hat? It's a good opportunity to buy uh, some of this stuff in bulk, but I already did, so... Ah, I'll be back. I like Kamidori, but I will say I don't think the merchant stuff made the game better. I liked it being there, but you're right, it wasn't as good as uh, Resetir's, but it was far better on the dungeon diving than Resetir. Price of food has decreased, that is bad news for me. Price of armor has normalized, that is good news for me. Woolly hats normalized, several incidents with fake high-class restaurants have left diners uncertain. Okay, so that tells me I need to take all the foodstuffs off the shelves. And it tells me that it's... Oh, this stuff is still... Uh, still cheapo. Then it's good to keep it in there. Let's just have a, a reset of our stuff that we have on sale. It's morning time, but I'm still going to open up shop. If it's super expensive, I want it out there.
Well, super expensive and not down there. So fairy bracelet, heck yes. Man, I got hats for days. Do we have an order today? Nah, it's tomorrow, and it is hats, but that'll be okay. It's a bit risky having nothing but expensive stuff on display, since uh, somebody might come in and not be able to afford anything, so let's keep some Jordan Lament books on offer. It'll be a problem if the big guy comes in. Ah, eh, maybe I can offer him up something. Let's do it. Please produce a weapon for Arma again. Does she even have much money? Potentially not. I'll give her a long sword, see what happens. Alright, so she has at least a bit of money. <laughs> Another wizard robe. You already bought one, but that'll do. He already bought a breastplate, but now he wants to steal one. It's all yours, friend. Anything to get my picks level back up. Lincoln Trent is telling us that Arma has 2400 base budget. Why, thank you. And old man wants hats. We have hats for days. As long as the price doesn't crash again. I'm kind of running out of good stuff to have on display, and yet I feel like I've burned through so much of my money already. There's not a lot of benefit from us to head out right now, but it might be nice to dungeon dive a bit. So I'll open the store now, and then uh, afterwards go for a dungeon dive. Spot on. Perfect picks level there. Teacher's poll. Sure. <laughs> he liked his helmet, but he really wants the pirate hat. That's fine, it's all money in my, uh, in my back pocket. Vending machines really are not doing well for me, though. Oh, this is pretty great for Kylo to have. He might end up being a pretty attractive choice for dungeon diving with. Two weapons, two days. Uh, I mean, I have no reason not to take it, but I'm not going to make big money off of it. Pretty good. I'm notably still down on money from a few days ago, however... Tomorrow it's two hats, and well, I certainly have hats for that. Let's head on out. Uh, oh, it's closed. Well... Well, bummer to that. Uh, food stuff is cheap though, right, here? No, not that, um... Not that either. News summary. Food has decreased, so let's buy up all the food we can. After we hit the pub, of course. My wife terrifies me so much at this point, I can't even look at alcohol without feeling guilty. Man, domestic abuse, there is no excuse. Alright, no excuse for letting these bargains go to waste either. Mont Blanc is available, I will have all of them. Shortcakes and peach tins are available. Uh, melons! God, melons are worth a lot of dosh. 
I will have all of... <laughs> can't afford all of them. I will have many of them. Uh, that'll do. Let's not get too greedy here. We're also gonna have no money again, and that's a pretty bad place to be. Not that I can make loads of money by selling them right now, but the time will come when uh, armor and... When armor and food normalize, and then I'll be in the box. Hard to even think what to sell here, though. It's night time, so I guess people don't weapons. I already have a weapon out there, though. Weapons, armors... Yeah, pretty, pretty lacking on good things to sell right now, truthfully. Let's throw that ring up. Forget, uh, forget anything else. Have a statue out, and keep on keeping on. And again, people wanting armor when it's dirt cheap. Uh, what were you again? 24, as in your budget. Well, take a scrap plate off of me. Spot on. Getting those uh, near pins and just pin bonuses really speed up leveling up the characters' budgets. And again, people want clothes. Hang on, clothes normalized. Time for you to enjoy my silk clothes. Didn't he say this was for his wife? Spot on. Karathian comes in and just says, Reset your heart. Pretty great game. Two pieces of armor in three days for Louis. This is good news, because surely armor will have normalized in three days. Not good money when you open up in the evening, but I'll take it. The price of precious metals has increased. Mm, price of armor is normalized. Be careful when heading out at night. So it's not really worth me having all these parade armors in the vending machine. In fact, I'm honestly rethinking the whole vending machine idea because it's just not doing very good for me. Uh, yeah, I'd rather just have a proper table right now. And again, I got all this stuff that I could sell for nice amounts of money, but I think it's only the late game vending machine that does real good stuff. Maybe I should just sell it back. Oh well, you live and learn. Let's get that uh, awesome armor and stuff on display. Especially that silver armor. I'll take the hats behind the counter because I know somebody uh, has placed a special order for them. I thought I had more things that were made of precious metals, but I thought wrong. Screw it, that warm robe is just taking up space. Won't be fooled here, Louis. You cough up the money for it. Uh, okay, that's a really good thing for you to have, actually. 1,000 picks. Easy, easy money. And Old Man wants the hats. Old Man has a couple of levels on him, so he should be able to cough up for two scaly hats. Show me the money. Two foodstuffs in two days. That sounds like a couple of melons to me, so yes. Not your kind of weapon, but granted, I don't have staves here. And there we go, Kylo levels up once again. I think he already started out with decent money, so 
I can start selling the big stuff to him. The perfect level at which to sell goods to people varies. I, I sold uh, the same book at the same price to the same girl, and uh, one was perfect and the other was just near perfect. That's a hard one to figure out. It's sorely tempting to go out and just buy a whole load more food while it's going cheap, but no, I shall resist. Just keep the money flowing. <sighs> I am so short on good weapons right now, and I'm kicking myself for that, because now I don't have something expensive to give, uh, to give my dearest customer. So have a laundry pole instead. Well, <laughs> if she's happy, I'm happy. That's charm up to level two. And great. Oh, I want to gouge him. I'm going to have to gouge him. Thousands of picks. How could I not gouge the old man? Well, he's not that old yet. Here's old man. No need to gouge him. Not huge profits there. And just like that, we're back in Pick's land, but we have loads of assets. So if you were cringing at the idea of me spending all my money so easily, this is where the payoff comes in. Going for an adventure soon? Yeah, we'll go for an adventure this evening. It was just closed up yesterday. Girl wants a bracelet. We're getting pretty... Uh... Ooh, I could give her the maiden one. It's really no big deal for me anymore. I don't want to hold on to this thing any longer than need be. Oh, and she loved it. Little girl just hit level... I'm going to go out on a limb and say she's on level uh, 3 right now. I think I missed her leveling up. There's no way she would have afforded some of the expensive stuff she's bought before. Now, this is finally a good thing. Someone's selling me an item that has crashed in value. She who must be obeyed has been on my case to get... That is dark. This poor guy is horribly abused by his wife. Uh, anyway, normally I buy it, uh, buy things at 70%, but given it's crashed, I half that to only 35%. And he still is happy with it. And that got Guildman up to level 5, which is buckets of ducats level. And again, I'm not one to overpay. In fact, that's Arma up at level 1 now. I have to take pen and paper notes on this. It's, uh, it's a bit brutal. Another pull. And that combo experience is really adding up. Sinister objects are increasing in popularity with men. Hmm. Price of sweets is normalized. That is good news for sure. If your glasses need adjustment, talk to us today. Sinister items. I don't actually know what counts as sinister. Sure, if I went shopping, I could figure it out, but I think it's time that we went dungeon diving. Since I don't have Fist Man, we're going with Charm. I would like to bring a good knife for her. Maybe some better shoes, but she has still Breastplate, which makes me confident that she'll be able to survive. I'm going to save, because I didn't do nearly enough of that last time. Well, let's go for it. Yeah. What was the boss? They didn't drop anything for me, despite me wanting it. Ah, it's no big deal. Let's just keep on going. I'm sure there may be even a mod to add levels into being viewable in-game. Have you looked for one? asks SS. So that's a kind of joke. We were talking about mods earlier today. In fact, you may have even been the one talking about them. 
If such a mod exists, I'd love to know about it. Oh, you s oh yeah, I remember now. You slept right through it. Oh, man, charm does not take well to those uh, tentacle beasts. Nobody takes that well to them anyway, but as long as I get my level up here, it's all coming back to me. Not yet. Not when there's treasure to be ha- oh, okay. Well, here's what I think of your treasure. Good enough, I don't want to backtrack all the way. No, if there's a, an easy way to check the levels of uh, your customers, I am all ears. Like even if it even if it means, you know, reading the game file. Because if you lose count, you, you have no way of getting count back unless you test your customers with certain items to see how much they can afford. Nice parrying, but not nice enough. Charm is so damn good. Uh-oh. Whoa, now let's... Let's not get ourselves killed here. In fact, I'm gonna chew down that bread, because it's not worth jack. Especially during the, the food... Uh, the food crash. I mean, I farmed quite a bit in Kamidori. I don't know what it made, what uh, compelled me to do that when I find the item farming so awful in this game. Probably because it's extremely uh, random and very low drop chance in this game. Whereas in Kamidori, you can kind of make your own luck there. And the requirements are a bit less obnoxious in this, in uh, Kamidori as well. I wanted eight of something earlier on in this, I believe. Is Kamidori on your YouTube? Hmm. I think a few episodes are, but it became far too much effort to censor it. And the more you play to the game, the more you have to censor. It starts out fairly tame, and then it's just, oh, another cutscene. It's an arrow cutscene. It was great. But not great for putting on YouTube, because I had to just uh, pull out the William faces constantly. Yeah, like Rance. What's your name? I feel like it's a Sagi. There are no mods for Resetier, but it seems there's a Resetier mod for Civilization. What? If you wouldn't mind uh, pinging me the link to that, morbid curiosity overwhelms.
The brother and sister scene in Kamidori was one of the funniest things in that entire playthrough, though. Funny. I mean, I love those characters. Gameplay-wise, they were the absolute best. Oh, wow. Rings. Then you, maybe you can tell me how they work. It can break. Okay, well, I'd rather sell it then. I do not get on well with uh, one-time use items. Then I'm the type that just never uses their elixirs in an RPG. Every time I think I'm better for that, I just know I'm not. Oh, that's dangerous. That's super dangerous. Let's, uh... Chow down that Taiyaki. Uh, chow down that orange. And I'm glad I did, otherwise that would have been me all kinds of dead. That's a big advantage Louie has, he has a lot better reach on his attacks. Charm has to get uncomfortably close to the wriggly things, which do so much damage. Still waiting on that New Game Plus run of Kamidori. So I believe I started that, but uh, I lost all motivation to continue. It didn't have the, the challenge there. And I already knew what was going to happen everywhere, so... Well, as much as I remember these things. Right, that was 120% worth using my SP on. At least if I use my shadow attack, I can attack without risk of being hurt myself. So I'm able to carry up to 25 items this time around, as opposed to 20. Oh, oh boy. There we go. Just not worth taking the risk on those things. I guess the blessing there is that the Wrigley guys don't have a ton of health, but they still give me the willies when I have to fight them. Like so. Whew. Well, one more dead thing I get level up to anyway, so let's have some fun. Whee! Jings, that does nothing. And again, just a rubbish weapon. Wait, I think that's rubbish. Yeah. Okay, I finally got a drop out of one of these things though. But that's one drop after slaughtering, what, 15 of the Wrigley guys? That's not good odds. Uh, Kamidori is not on Steam, nor do I think it will ever be on Steam, given the uh, erotic content of it. But a man can dream. Grapes? 